Hey guys, it's Jason here with another hot tip for you today. This one might be especially useful to the educational arrangers out there. If you're writing for an ensemble that has a unique configuration of instruments, it's possible you might have a bass section that consists of a string bass, a tuba, a bassoon, a bass clarinet, and a barry sax. Now you may choose to have them all play the same part, however some of those instruments have different transpositions so you can't just print multiple copies of the same part. In Finale, it's possible to use a single line in the score, like this generic bass part here, to generate multiple parts with different transpositions. It simply requires two clever manipulations in the Manage Parts window and the Score Manager. Let's start with the Manage Parts window. What you may not realize is that nothing is stopping you from creating as many parts as you want using the same line from the score. You can see me doing that now. And we can also change the names of these parts as we need to, just like so. Once we're done with this, you will see that we now have five linked parts which all have their own part names, but the same baseline from the score. The second bit of cleverness involves a score manager. While viewing a linked part, opening the score manager will reveal this option that only appears in linked parts. When this is checked, the score manager settings for that part will effectively become independent from the score and all the other parts. So in the bass clarinet part, we can change the instrument to bass clarinet, and all the transpositions and other settings will be set accordingly. Back in the score, nothing has changed. And it's still in concert pitch in the Barry Sax part too. So now we can do the same thing here. Click this option and change the instrument. Now you have identical parts with different transpositions. The brilliant thing is that these parts are still linked to the original baseline in the score. So any changes made in the score will be reflected in all five parts. Yes! Now you'll need to be careful that the range of your generic part will fit the ranges of all the instruments simultaneously, of course, and playback in the score will only play the instrument that's set for that part in the score. But now you have a set of identical parts with different transpositions that are all linked together. How cool is that? So thanks for watching. I'm Jason, and this has been another Conquering Finale Hot Tip. If you enjoyed this video, please visit www.conqueringfinale.com to find full tutorials categorized by topic. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel here, follow me on Twitter here, email me here, or you can send me Morse code, telegraphs, or smoke signals. But please, no carrier pigeons.